gonna ask, yeah, is that? Not <laughs> it's not. I was trying to get past that thing, but if a little bit be done, this nigga done a lot. Yeah. Everybody, this is the common interest, and who I have here with me today is Crystal Rose. And uh, we're gonna get started, talk a little music. And first, I'm gonna ask you is to hit us with a rewind. Yes, 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 yes. So, what's up? What's up, everybody? You know, I'm Crystal Rose, and I'm from a small city called Beaumont, Texas. And you know, and you know, I always wanted to be a rapper ever since I was a child, it's always been a childhood dream of mine. And um, as much as my parents tried to distract me from it, I was able to find my way back to it. So, you know, well, anyways, I went to college at the University of Houston, and um, I've been living out here ever since. I love it out here, and I studied communications. Um, I got my degree in media production, so I never wanted to be one of those people that didn't use their degree in the real world. So as soon as I graduated in May, I decided, you know, I'm going to have to produce some media. So that's how this kind of got started. And so I was like, well, how? And the answer is through communications. So, you know, it all circles back around. And it's really what I'm best at. And that's really what music is about. It's about communicating and telling your story. And so that's how I rediscovered this passion again as an adult. And so I really love what I do. I love being a rapper. And I truly believe that's what I'm meant to do here for you today. <laughs> um, quick question. Uh, what uh, what like inspired the love for you to first start rapping? Like was it a certain person? Was it like, you know, just just the industry itself? Yeah, I just grew up, you know, my I grew up um, always liking rap music and especially uh, just in my roots, you know, I'm from from Beaumont, Texas, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, my mom's oh from my, my mom's that. from Louisiana, <laughs> so it was just always in in the culture. Okay, okay. Um, so how'd you get the name Crystal Rose? Yeah, okay. Well, it's very simple actually. When you <laughs> when you like to drink, <laughs> so um, yeah. So you know, but really, Rose, roses, it, it was beautiful and it represents love. And um, and rosé is strong, so when you drink crystal rosé, you should feel the love, and it should last in your oh, system. Okay, okay. That's <laughs> and you have a project out on SoundCloud right now called Ten by Ten, correct? That's right. All right. So, what was the inspiration behind that? Yeah, Ten by Ten. Um, it means to be yourself. Be 100% yourself and give 100% your all in everything that you do. Um, I endorse the the rule breakers, the rebels, you know, the, the people who break tradition because honestly, when you start to think outside the box, that's when you can really make change happen. You know, I'm passionate about facing my fears. So, you know, this, this, this mixtape came out in October. <laughs> so, you know, uh, little things like that. And, you know, I was able to really talk about myself and express myself in a way that I never had before. I talk about my family and, and, and and some inspirations I had as a child growing up and I want you to see my hustle and and feel my relationships and and hopefully you can you know chase your dreams regardless of your challenges as well so off uh, 10 by 10 what is your favorite song well you know you know saying I have a favorite song is like saying I have a favorite kid, you know. <laughs> okay. I mean, you and know, they I, they, I, I, they like. special to me. I created them. It's special. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, you know, you know, I do like, you know, the last song I did is, is called Loaded. It's the 10th song on my mixtape. And um, I really wanted that one to summarize everything. So I listen to it a lot. Um, 
I listen to it a lot, you know, to give me that motivation. You know, it has a lot of my personality in it. It's it's confident. You know, you know, tell them folks that I am not new. Let them know I will out rap you. I'm about to set the pattern I am what happens when you split an atom. You know, stuff like that. You know, that's just me. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, and so I really wanted that to, to summarize everything. And, um, you know, and, and the last the last thing I say in that song, you know, is, you know, tell a story, live forever. And that's really, you know, how I wanted to end the mixtape as well as a whole. I wanted you to see my story. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, um, when I was listening, I was like, damn, you going off. You talking about splitting the atoms and shit. I was like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, all right. So, um, yeah, like a great selection of instrumentals on there. Um, did you have Thank to produce you. any of them or... No, actually, I, I did not produce any of them. I selected all my beats, you know, online that went with my vibe. And, and they're produced by several different producers uh, who are very talented, who are all listed on my website, and they are accredited in my YouTube channel. So, guys, if you ever get a chance, please go show them some love because they are really talented and, and, you know, they help make this mixtape possible for me. And, and it, really, it really matched the vibe. So. Okay, okay, yeah, do that for sure. Yes. All right. So also on 10 by 10, you had two features only on there, which were samples from Bob Marley and Lisa Left Eye. Uh, was there a yes. specific reason you picked those to, out of the two? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, you know, Bob Marley, he was perfect for Island Games. It was, you know, he really blended very well with the vibe that I was trying to go for the song, you know, with jamming. I want to <laughs> jam it with you, you know, yeah, you know, that's yeah. exactly the feel that I was going for. And, 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 and he's such an icon. And so having him on my mixtape really does, you know, it, it means something to me and so and so and TLC you know I've always I've TLC has always been a big part of my life growing up so you know I always like left eye I always did and 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 so the verse that I actually use from her it, it's in sunshine it's um it's from TLC's album uh, Fan Mail. It's from their song called My Life. And so the meaning of it was that it's about growing up. It's about changing and, and really just, um, you know, accepting that you're not the same anymore and that, you know, you have to grow up and move on. So really having that into my song was really symbolic for me in that way because it really expressed that message and really got that point across for me. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so on downtown and higher, uh, I know I'm pretty sure on downtown that was you speaking, correct? Right. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> can can you just talk to us a little bit like what you at was the actually, beginning? Yeah, at the beginning when you just okay. kind of saying so the what was, uh, what was about Yeah, me. the beginning was my best friend, one of my best friends, Jordan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But and so and so and so, you know, downtown is really about you know the risk that it that it takes to you know just really dive into this industry especially you know the way I did just you know going you know full force all in and so it's really just acknowledging those risks and, and saying you know I'm ready I'm prepared for it I can handle it and so you know I talk about I talk about my hustle I talk about my struggle you know our enemies and you know I, I even mentioned my dad you know he's always worrying about me every day and so you know really I'm just trying to say you know I got this you know I'm I'm, I'm I can handle it I'm prepared and 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 higher has it, it embodies that same message you know it's like a message to my folks back home I'm saying you know you know change is different and you know I'm really acknowledging change but really accepting it and and saying that it is scary and really just acknowledging that and um, you know my mind went blank for us like one second <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but but really it's like it's really just acknowledging that, you know, change is scary. But, you know, like I said earlier, this chapter in my life is all about facing fears. So, you know, I'm not going to let anything get to me, you know. You know, is you know 10 by 10, you know. I did it again, got to keep it 10 by 10. Looks like she going in with no hook like I'm a fish at a shipwreck in the water. It's dark like the abyss. Got me stranded in the ocean, so I'm about to, about to swim. You know, I just, I want you to be unstoppable. You know, all I know is how to make it. I'm going to fight it to the end. You know, see, that's the message I want to encourage from everybody, you know. You know, be unstoppable. That, that, find, deep, dig deep and find that you that's going to keep going and keep going. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Okay, okay. Um, so I see every time you make a move or anything, your team is right there with you. Um, that's right like how how many people do you have on your team like as of just right now yeah you know i have a few you know strong anchors i have a few strong anchors you know holding it down for me and and you know usually you know behind the scenes you'll see la rumo or jordan you know behind the scenes or you know today i got raquel with me and you know these people are truly my close friends people that see my vision they they believe in me and they support my vision and and that's rare so you know i want to hold on tight to those people and and really we're growing together so that's the plan we all in this together <laughs> That's a that's a big like difference maker and just having them on your like on your back, right? Absolutely. Right. Okay. Um and you talked a little bit how like TLC influenced you and everything, but what who else like are your other major influences in you becoming an artist? That's that's another hard question. I mean <laughs> I mean, I have so many influences. I mean, there's so many people that um that just inspired me, you know, you know, Destiny's Child growing up, you know, Nasty put some clothes on. I told you, <laughs> you know, things like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, you know, I looked up to Brandy, you know, I saw her on TV and she was also, you know, multi, very multi-talented. So that was inspirational to see growing up as well. And, and, and you know, you know, RIP Pimp C, you know, you know, Bun B, UGK, you know, that's, that's my neck of the woods right there. You know, I'm from Pope Arthur, Texas, representing till I'm dead. Pimpin' almost died in them 80s. Boys was scared. You know, that's, the, that's Pimp C. That's Pimp C. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I, I, got a, I got a lot of influences. I got a lot of influences and you know and you know they all shaped me and made the person the musician that you see before you today. <laughs> um who is your favorite male and female artist? That's you know another one. Hard, <laughs> difficult to say, you know, pinpointing one person to for everything that I love and you know and favorite, you know, that's strong, you know, you know, males, you know, I wouldn't be right if I didn't mention Wheezy, you know. That's you know, somebody I always looked up to and and and, and very talented. Um Kevin Gates, you know, very talented as well, you know, and um, you know, once again he's something so close to home about him, his style and, and and something I really like about that, and and you know, you know, the list could go on. You know, honestly, <laughs> I mean, I mean, females I look up to. You know, you know, Lauren Hill. You know, she's very, very true to herself, very authentic and and talented, and 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 that's somebody that I, you know, I could really want to aspire to be like. And and you know, of course, you know, Beyonce. You know, of course, you know, growing up, you know, is you always want to see you know somebody very talented and powerful striving, right. and so that's really what I see. And and you know, Alicia Keys you know Rihanna you know these are you know just women that I just see as you know good good figures you right, know strong women, strong women you right. know <laughs> okay, I got you I got you yes and, uh, so would you try to go the independent route or would you sign to the label and if a label what label yeah you know you know I'm, I want to go wherever you know my my music can take me and so I, I'll go as far as that could be you know I have looked into labels done some research I mean I really like Motown Def Jam or you know um, Universal I really like how they are with their urban artists and I feel that I really like how they are with their urban artists, and I feel that they um, really understand their vision and really get that across. So you know, that's a that's a goal. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else can we expect from Crystal Rose? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. You could, you know, Crystal Rose got new content every day. You could definitely expect that daily content, you know. And I'm also, I stay writing, I stay writing music. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try to have a song out every month for you. Um, also, I got, um, I'm working on a producing a self documentary right now that's gonna be coming out in May, and um, that's something I'm looking forward to um, sharing with you guys as well. So you know, I'm always working on film projects and video projects and um, always ready to keep it going and get on with the next level. Okay. Mm -hmm.
And don't you have uh, you have a single on Spotify right now, right? Don't you? Yeah, yeah. I got a new song on on iTunes right now. It's called Hustlin' and it's on iTunes, Spotify. You know, Apple Music. You know, whatever store it's on. You know, check it out. And um, all those exclusives are on CrystalOfficial.com. And you know, you can spell my name Crystal K R Y S T E L Official dot com. Um, and and everything's on my YouTube channel. So check it out. Check it out. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for coming through. Appreciate you. Thank you Good so time. much for having me. Many times, many times. All right, stay on the lookout for Crystal Rose. Yes. Watch out for new words. Stay on the lookout. Yes. All right, we got a common interest, and I'll catch y'all next time. I'm about to go bananas Hot sauce on the beat Cause she from Louisiana Oh Hosanna I think I found the answer Communications I went to school to be a rapper Ay, Might just pop off today Please excuse my manners Rain from the south Call me Princess Tiana If you rolling with me Then you gotta roll faster Better like that shit up Cause I have high standards And let them know Syndrome killed this beat Grind the bone and skin the meat Play with me go obsolete My whole team roll up in Jeeps Piranhas all up in that water Scary hoes go out Real monsters niggas fake you Winning Oscar out of space With Rick and Morty Stare down the barrel of a gun Hit the flow bitch I'm about to go dumb Trust me when I tell you not to trust no one The team got you surrounded Our time has just begun Quick fucking shit up, Crystal Quick fucking shit up Quick fucking shit up, Crystal Quick fucking shit up Quick fucking shit up, Crystal Quick fucking shit up Quick fucking shit up, Crystal, Quick fucking shit up. Quick fucking shit up, Crystal. Are you ready? All eyes on me, Machiavelli. Doesn't make the game written over my machete. Tear that hoe up in the shreds like confetti. I didn't come to play. I think you knew that already. And I wanna give you trouble, but the bass is moving faster. Ten thousand hours I can.